welcome back to another episode. Today we're targeting mud crabs, and we're just dropping all we dropped all the pots in already last night, and we've gone and checked them. Have I caught a lot of little ones and a lot of females in Queensland. You can't keep females, so throw them back. I throw them back anyways. But um, now we're checking the pots again. No, no luck on any legal crabs yet. A couple of females and small males. So what we're going to do? Keep checking the pots and hopefully come across a decent one. Go as far as you can. So, uh, sunny sand. Whew. Too shallow for the boat, so I'm walking in. Just hoping I don't stand on a stingray because there's stingray holes everywhere. Alright. Oh, it's a stick. Oh, two little oddies. Yeah, I will. Two little odd crabs. Yes, he is. Uh, tip these out. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh, I'm saying very still. Little whale. He's not legal. Oh, nice little male. I think he's going to be undersized, so we'll shuck him back. Here you go, mate. Here we've got two dolphins feeding, and they're just absolutely busting up all the bait. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The, it's like a mother and its baby. Oh, right here, baby dolphin. There's his mum. Huh. He's like, right here. Huh. That's so cool. Oh, here they come. Where'd they go? Here we go. Huh. Wow. Huh. Now all they're doing, they're feeding right in here all along the um, mouth of this little creek where we've got our crab pots in. All the bait's getting rushed out and they're just absolutely smashing them. They were just busting them up on the surface before, but now they're just chilling. It's pretty cool to watch. Oh, huh. here it comes. Don't hit a dolphin and he throw it in. <laughs> so we're going to chuck the other pot back in. We've just rebaited it. The dolphins are still hanging out the back there. Nothing. <laughs> Alright, so we've just come up here to check our traps. And if you know what a ghost pot is, it's what this is right here. A pot here has been left, and I've tried to get it up just to sort of move it out of the way. It's wrapped around that branch under the water, and um, yeah, not really, not good. It just repeats the cycle. The fish get swimming for the bait, die, crabs go in, die, fish swim in to um, eat the crabs, die, and it's just a repetitive cycle. So, need to get something done about it. Timmy Turtle did a bit of going and pulling them up, and he got, I think he got in trouble for it. So, I'm not going to touch them because I'm not really sure on the Queensland laws, but there's like five or six of them up this creek. It's not really a good thing, so pick up your shit. If that one had been checked, this one will be too. Why not? 
Oh, oh, Jenny. No, it's all right. It's a jewelry. It's a crab in there. Oh. Are you be close? No, he's under. I guess all his nippers are. We're back up the creek now. The next day, we're checking all the pots and we're gonna pull them out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got a nice big muddy in there. No luck, really. We just pulled up the first pot then and it's got um, full of just undersized crabs. So we're gonna keep pulling them up, cruise up the creek and yeah, see how we go. Oh, Ooh. yes. Oh no. He'd be close, we'll have to measure him, I think. That's in open. That's been checked. Yeah. Someone's checked that pot here. It's left open, so we can tell, which sucks. That one had a man. All right, so we just pulled that pot up then, and it's been opened and checked. So I'm assuming that all of our pots have been checked just from that in this creek, because we've only got smaller ones in here, which we're we're going to move away and put somewhere else, just because um, if we do repot this little area today, don't want to be catching the same small crabs. But um, yeah, so we'll keep going and checking the pots and hopefully they all haven't been checked. Oh, nod crud. Fuck, really? These have been checked 100%, eh? Harry? No crabs. All right, pretty sure our pots have all been checked because we're not getting much out of anything and everything we do gets either undersized or a fair male, so I have to throw it back anyways. But yeah, we've got one more pot in this creek, then we'll go check the other creek, which hopefully hasn't been checked. The other creek, and we've just checked the first pot. Hopefully we do all right, because it doesn't seem like that one had been checked, because there was three smaller ones in there. So we're gonna go check the other ones over there now, and hopefully we've got a couple of mud crabs. Both female, oh, yeah, both females spewing. What have we got? Oh. Far out. Oh, he might be close. I reckon he's very close, that one. So we'll, we'll get a check, we'll get a check on him and hopefully he's legal. Right, oh, no crud. Fucking really? These have all been checked. The fucking pots have been upside down. All right, so every single pot in this creek has also been checked because all the pots have been thrown in upside down and we don't throw them upside down because the crabs can get on top of them and eat your bait still. So it's a bit disappointing, but I think we've got two legal muddies. We'll check them all when we get back out here and um, we'll keep the legal ones. So, got this one legal muddy. He's nice and full, very hard. So I'm gonna go for a dive now, come back in and um, probably cook him up. I'm gonna grab this mud crab out and I'm gonna put him in the fridge. I've just had him in the bucket overnight just so he stays alive. I'm gonna put him in the fridge so he goes to sleep. Then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna steam him, put him in a bucket of water so it's just covering the shell. Or not, uh, sort of half covering the shell, and then the, it was just steam him and cook him through. It was a really nice way to do it. Or I might just chuck him on the barbecue. We'll see what happens. He's nice and feisty. Oh, he nearly got me then. He's still nice and feisty. Woohoo! Right, I think I might chuck some cable ties or something around him before I do anything. So now I'm gonna cook him on the barbecue. He's there, nice and tied up, ready to go. So this barbecue got in. Yeah, get it turned on. Then I'm just gonna shut the lid, let it all heat up. And then, um, yeah, we'll chuck the crab on. And I think it's about 10 minutes, then he should be ready to go. So he's asleep now. So I'm just literally gonna put him straight there on the barbecue. He's just gonna cook. And um, I'll flip him over in a few minutes just to get him to cook the whole way through. But yeah, I think he's gonna go pretty well on the barbecue. We cooked a couple up on the barbecue yesterday because we got another couple. But um, yeah, so we'll let him cook and we'll see how we go. Oh, getting there. So, oh, shit. All right, I'm just gonna flip him over. He's pissing out juice. He looks awesome. Nice nippers. So he looks pretty good. Um, 
So I reckon maybe another five, maybe ten minutes, and he'll be ready to go, and we'll dig into it. So I'm just going to pull the crab off now. He's nice and cooked, as you can see. Get him off, straight into some water. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's perfectly cooked. Hang on. I'll just uh, grab him off. I mean, very hot. I don't have tongs with me, and I didn't grab them. Ow. <laughs> Bug it in and just go bang. <laughs> Look at that. He's perfectly cooked. But I created a bit of a mess, so let's just close that and hopefully no one sees it. So, so tuck in this crab. But look at that. Mmm. So nice on the barbecue. And look at that. It's beautiful. Straight in the water. Love drinking the crab juice out of the nippers and everything. So nice, but it's time for the best part. Yeah, he wasn't very full, as you can see. Not the fullest crab, but it's mud crab. He was one of the only legal ones we got. Mm. He ate every part of that. So, so good. Not the fullest crab I've ever gotten, but he'll do the trick. Mm. That's amazing. His legs, a swimmer. This is the best breakfast I reckon I've had in a long time. Very, very good. Just fantastic brekkie. And on the barbecue, I've noticed you can break the shell apart a lot easier. So it's a lot easier for eating it. So yeah, maybe give it a crack. It's pretty good. Yeah, so, not too bad at all. So nice. I just love mud crab, so good. I don't know what I think is better, mud crab or blue shrimp, but I've cooked this perfectly. It is perfectly cooked. Everything's just sliding straight out. Mm. The barbecue gives it like a a bit of a smoky flavour, which is also pretty good. It's probably similar to cooking it on the coals. Really nice. But yeah, so I'm up on the Goldie for up on the Gold Coast here. For maybe I think I'm up here till the third. Today's the. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I've just been doing this all day, every day, catching crabs and going fishing. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that. I've got another week up here or something like that. So, um, I think tomorrow morning I head out to the fads, try and get some dolphin fish. Went to head out this morning, but um, yeah, it was just too, too windy and swelly out there, so we pulled the pin. And um, that's why I'm pulling up crab for breakfast. But uh, yeah, might do that. Maybe go for a fish with some dewies or something. I oh, don't know, no plan really. But, um, if you've got anything you want me to do up here, leave in the comments below and um, I'll try and try and do it. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm gonna sit here, finish off my crab, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. Ring that notification bell as well. I haven't really been onto that, but yeah, ring that. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. Phew. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop.